I guess selfishly, maybe it's how powerful the SpyFu GPT is in the right hands. That might be my personal favorite part. When, when you know exactly what you're looking for, the SpyFu GPT is insanely powerful. I had this trending post pop up in my Reddit the other day. It's like this website that went from 190,000 visitors to 5.7 million visitors in 10 weeks. It's called AIinvest.com or a, sorry, AInvest.com, like AI Invest. And apparently their strategy is like, I mean, they're just doing a whole bunch of AI uh, generated content. And uh, so people are talking about it. And I mean, it's a pretty trending thing, right? Um, at first, I'm like, I, I don't really think that this is probably legit. But then uh, then I just plugged into SpyFu. And sure enough, I mean, look at this sucker. It's just growing like crazy, right? Like, that's useful. So I went and I looked at the site, right? And I'm like scrolling through it. And, you know, generally, I was expecting to see pretty much trash, but I read through it and I'm like, this is pretty decent, like reasonably insightful. Like it's just, they're just publishing quite a bit of stuff. Um, and they're doing it probably with AI at scale, but it's not, you know, it's, it seems to me to be decent quality. So I happen to have a friend who, um, who has a website that's similar, maybe in the same space, it's called earningshub.com. And so I sent him a text and I'm like, dude, you should, um, reverse engineer the SEO for this, this website, because they're crushing it, right? They're doing a great job. And um, then I was like, wait, hold my beer. And I, uh, I popped that into uh, the SpyFu GPT. I said, I need to reverse engineer the SEO strategy for AIinvest.com. Uh, they're definitely doing something right. What are they doing? And when did it change? So it makes these five initial uh, calls to the spy to spyfu the spyfu a, a, uh, spyfu api and it says here's what they're doing right it says they publish news style articles um optimized for huge brands um and they have uh, and here's what their top pages are here's what their top click pages are here's how many they get their best performers blend a uh, mix of corporate news plus speculative finance headlines um they're capitalizing on crypto and meme coin buzz um, the, this, uh, so they're, they've got like these particular keywords and this shows the shift towards crypto meme coin, meme coin content, which is much faster moving, but, but drives spikes in traffic and they are using, uh, and so they're using this SEO metrics to confirm authority. And when things changed, it looks like the big shift happened about two to three months ago. They've had a, some explosive gains on certain keywords. So then they summarize what the strategy is, news-driven SEO, SERP piggybacking, timely content, freshness advantage. Um, they talk about what changed. And then I'm like, okay, so this is what we all ultimately want to do, right? So we want to apply it to the website. So I said, yeah, I'd like to apply this to, uh, to the earningshub.com website. Let's translate that into a playbook on a custom SEO roadmap for Earnings Hub. So obviously it's talking to uh, the SpyFu API about earningshubs.com, uh, like what their SEO footprint looks like. And ultimately it comes up with a playbook and I'm gonna like scroll through a bit of this. You can kind of see what's going on. It's gonna figure out a way to, um, to build out a content framework and a roadmap. And it's and but I'm going to give you the big picture here. Earnings Hub can outflank AI Invest by uh, AI Invest by combining their news trend playbook with your inherent authority on earnings. Instead of just piggybacking news, you can anchor it to financial performance, which gives you credibility plus clickability. Would you like me to build you a 30-day content calendar with daily posts plus uh, target keywords plus angles to outrank AI Invest or a competitor combat map with? Earnings Whisper, Zach, so you can see untapped gaps in the earnings niche. So those are some pretty cool um, angles that it can give me, like some, some directions to give me. But ultimately, I said, no, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me how to build a content machine. Like, how can I figure out what, con how, can, how can I figure out what content to build at scale? Sp and specifically, how are they going about it, right? And so what follows is is just this thing breaking down exactly how they're going about it and like what APIs they can use from Google Trends to Newswire feeds to SpyFu to stocks, um, like Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, TradingView API, 
we're talking about we're talking about combining the SpyFu API and like and the earnings hub uh, calendars. We're talking about looking at search volumes from Google Trends plus SpyFu, like live search volume, um, newsworthiness from SEC filings, combining uh, like you know estimating keyword value using SpyFu CPC plus SEO clicks, and ultimately figuring out like which it, like this is breaking it down from an input layer to detect from for like detecting the trends to deciding what to cover to generating the content and how to do that using templates and so on and ultimately how to like distribute it and uh and how to get a feedback loop and then it says sort of here's where your strategic and uh, your edges and gives you like this overall idea um and then it kind of recommends like, well, you could either take this in the direction of a low code, no code, or like a normal like engineering process. Um, so as a software guy, I like know how these things work. What I, what I know is that what we need to do is get a little bit more detail on each of these things. We need to break this down into several larger tasks and then, uh, and then take each of those tasks and break it down into kind of like these subtasks so that we're not talking about like, uh, like a high level here where we're looking at like the input layer and decision layer and so on as like a, that's not a spec. We need to define these things in like, um, in ways that like a developer hypothetically could just take and implement. We're probably going to use AI to do it, but we need to break it down into like, into like an actual spec. But this is where we start. We start at the high level and then we work to each sort of bullet point and build, build those bullet points into technical specs. So that's ultimately what I'm telling you to do. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like for you to write a detailed spec that I could give to a developer or a client cursor, Cloud Code. So it does that. It basically builds out, uh, builds out some specs, and it's like this is a pretty good spec, right? And I'm like, actually, you need to break it down even further so I can hand it off to a developer. You've left too many questions on it answered. So you just kind of like push it and push it until it gives you like the uh, the level of detail that you need. And by the time we're done here, we're actually talking about actual API endpoints. You know, these are the um, these are the uh, SpyFu endpoints that it's going to use. We're talking about uh, Yahoo Finance Alpha Advantage API endpoints. We're talking about Coin Ge Coin Gecko API endpoints and Google Trends uh, API endpoints. And we're going to mash all those things together, and it's going to ultimately generate a Python script that we can use to generate this content at scale and ultimately publish it and then distribute it. Right? Like, this is a superpower, you guys, right? Like, this is not possible just with ChatGPT alone. In fact, I use ChatGPT. I, 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 I built this and then I was like, I kind of wonder what, what I could get if I used, you know, ChatGPT Pro with, uh, with deep research, right? So I give, I give it the exact same thing. And you know how, how this guy is, it's gonna run Oh uh, well, you know, deep research is going to ask a follow set of follow up questions, and I answer it basically. Just give me all the things. I'm not really going to give you. I know I want the technical SEO and I want the keyword research. I give me all the stuff, right? Just reverse engineer the strategy. It's giving it the same exact prompt, and it runs, and it, you know, it runs probably for like eight, ten minutes or something like that, right? And this is deep research pros, the two hundred dollar version of ChatGPT. It's it's crunching, it's working really hard, and it's doing its absolute best. Um, pulling everything that it possibly can. But at the end of the day, it actually does not get really what their strategy is. What it does tell me is like that hypothetically investing.com is bigger and so is investors.com and so on. But it doesn't, it can't get me any real insights. And ultimately when I say, I like, how can I replicate this for my site earningshub.com? It starts to talk about, well, here's what you should do. You need to have, a directory called slash news. And you need to have like, it starts looking at like my robots.txt and stuff like that. It's not really coming up with any kind of content strategy. It's saying things, but this is nowhere near the same level, right? We're on a completely different playing field. And that like, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I can't believe how how deep this thing will go if you keep going with it and give it give it the direction that you want it's incredibly super it's it's an incredible superpower and not to mention not to mention the fact that what this thing outputs just 
just this analysis all by itself is like thought leadership quality analysis, right? If I spent like a week or three days doing this sort of deep dive, just in these, in this first couple of questions and answers, I would not, I'd be, I don't know for sure that I would produce this quality. I feel like I wish, I hope, I think I would. Um, but it's doing a great job, like really good, really high quality work. And all it takes is giving it, who knew? All it takes is giving it real data um, uh, to be the game changer. So anyway, hope you love it. <laughs>